third time we did it, 2009, we bought the pub. Yeah. And without the rail trail, this area would be dead. Yeah. Absolutely dead. Yeah. This pub would have closed about 2000. Just soon as they had the trail opening, they just kept it going. Um, now we've got a very viable business. Um, we're running 12 to 15,000 people a year through it. Not only that, it's not just the trail, but the benefits are huge outweigh the trail. It brought tourism into the area. It's bought um, an infrastructure which never been here. We wouldn't have the old shop across the road. We wouldn't have the garage down the road with the gas and the engineering shop. There wouldn't be the infrastructure in this town. It's brought so many um, tradespeople around, home a cow down the road. We've got a very good plumber and electrician and all that, builders in the area, purely because of the trail, really, because it's just given them work as well. So it's spin-offs all the way. Was there any local like opposition to oh, yeah. getting started? Yeah, yeah, well, Barry, our local farmer behind us here, was also a um, city councillor. He said, oh, it's just a load of nonsense. It's never going to work. Uh, he said, in the old days, we um, had mental institutions, now we've got the rail trail. <laughs> but uh, he's backed the right off now and he's brought, because his pub wouldn't be open. The locals yeah. wouldn't have a pub. And what would you say if I said you could have the train back tomorrow instead of the rail trail? What would you say? You get that? the train. Yeah. Waste of time. Trains are, uh, certainly in this area, have had their day long ago. My name is David Smythe, uh, originally 20 years ago from Auckland. Yeah. And we live further up the valley, in one of the, close to one of these small settlements, and we actually developed a run down historic property. To a, into a venue for accommodation and, right. and, and eating and drinking yeah. based on the rail trail. Yeah. And um, 10 years ago, we moved into Clyde and uh, have opened this business in Clyde Bistro, supported by, supported by a 42 Sorry, seater that? cinema. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so the cinema's opened? Uh, we, yes, we, we opened the cinema. We opened the bistro uh, five years ago and the cinema four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, again, incredibly successful. Right. Um, when it was mooted to the, to this, the railway line should be converted into a, a cycling walking track, the adjacent landowners, the, the farmers and so forth, who have been in the area for quite a while, generally, they've uh, set in their ways, generally they were cynical. They didn't think it would work. But I think you could now talk to any one of them and uh, they say, well, we've got it wrong. It's working. And I have to say, again, I don't think there have been many hassles with them being having problems with stop movements, not being feared with all these sorts of things. Mm. Generally, I think, again, they have found that the people treat the area with respect, because it is a very special area, um, and they certainly see that the economic benefits that have been reaped, which right. they take part of. So a number of them now have their own BNBs. Yeah, well, so forth yeah. To uh, yeah, I'm uh, Andrew Timbledon, we're in the Strathtyre, the uh, just up the rail trail a wee bit from Middle March. And How's the route trail been as a as a landholder? Uh, well, for all the small towns on the rail trail, it's been um, uh, it's been good. Really, it's uh, regenerated some of the country pubs, and, and you haven't had any issues with people sort of riding through the old rail corridor. No, no, we all um, tend to be people who are sort of middle middle-aged and middle-aged plus and they've got 10 dead money yeah. and they all, um, you know, we've we'll, we'll never had any problems with any of the ones we've got here and we've got good people. Oh, great. Since the rail trail has been in and it's proved such a success, which it has, uh, it has meant these small communities have really uh, come back to life and expanding and so forth. So, um, so we had an accommodation business there and it was very successful, driven by the rail trail. So particularly the small rural villages that, would have, that so. would have had no economic Absolutely. platform to survive yep. have been kept alive by the development of the rail trail. Not just kept alive, they now have a new life. They've boomed. They've boomed, yeah. relatively. And it's spun off from there, a, a small township like Naseby which is not actually on the rail trail, but it's sort of 10k off, but has significant sort of scenic value and, and so forth. It has benefited from the fact that the people, it's drawing people in. Yeah. It has an indoor, an international indoor curling rink, yeah. uh, which is built, and the, the extra people that come into the rail trail, you know, again, provide a viable economic use. Um, so, yeah, significant, really, it has been. And interestingly, I mean, the trail's been going now for, slightly inaccurate here, but let's say 10 years, okay. uh, possibly longer, 
and it really is, hasn't tailed off. It's, it's, it's still continuing to increase. Continuing to increase? Yeah, so it's yeah, not a short-term well. thing. The age demographic is interesting. It, it, it is an older demographic. But really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the demographic when they're doing it, uh, if you tried to say, what, what, who is the person doing the rail trail? It is a 60-year-old woman from Auckland. Uh, right. But yeah. the, obviously that's a habit of generalisation. But it's certainly, yeah. and, and they're not, they're the quite big spenders. Yeah. Got a lot of disposable income. A lot of disposable income. Okay. So, yeah. uh, well, and hence, uh, yeah. And mm. it's driven, the satisfaction rating that the trail has is incredibly high, it's something like 98%. Wow. So word of mouth is driving it all the time now. Okay. People coming back to do it a second time, bringing different people a third yeah. time. Yeah, well. The benefits of the rail trails is keeping a lot of our little small town development really alive. Yeah. Um, a lot of accommodation providers, local pubs, local um, eateries, cafes have all come to life again. So if someone said if you could have the, the train back tomorrow instead of the rail trail, what would you say? No, definitely no. not. It would just it would just kill off so many people's businesses and environments and um, that is what Central Town is all about. Oh just about walking. Exercise. Yeah. Exercise? We, yeah. we live yeah. close to it. No good views, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're close to it, so it's convenient for you yeah. to oh, yeah. to yeah. get around. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. traffic. No bikes. Great <laughs> asset for our town. Great asset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. In what way? Well, it brings a lot of people from outside of the area to to actually ride the rail trail. Oh, okay. And it's very popular. Where are you guys from? We're from the Ballina Byron area. Ballina Byron area. So you had to come to New Zealand to ride a rail trail. Yes, we certainly did. It'd be good if we had one in our local area. By starting the rail trail, all the pubs all boomed up again, you know, and it's a pretty big rail trail, 150 kilometres, I think. Yeah. Uh, and so there's a lot of places to stop. So, so it's not just tourists that use it? No, no, no. It's oh, done no, for, it's used for a lot of things. Yeah, there's there's races that. on yeah. it and there's, there's quite yeah. a few things on it, yeah. Raven Calder. Yeah. Narita Calder. So have you come up to the area to do the rail trail specifically? Yes. Yes, we have. So where are you guys from? South Wales. In South Wales Victoria. and Victoria. Have you enjoyed the rail trail so far? Yes, loved it. No, yeah, fantastic. No, it was Great accommodation on the way. Yeah, yeah. But we just thought it was good exercise. Yeah. And we're getting older every year. I'm 77 now. 77. 75. 75. So yeah. We thought we'd better do it before we're getting any older. And so it's it's perfect. You feel perfectly safe riding along oh, uh, yeah. the rail yes, trail. We've yeah. enjoyed it so far. It's been great. Yeah. yeah. I can uh, just uh, push a button and I've got parasols. Oh, so you have an electric bike? Electric bike. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. And so that makes it a lot easier for yeah. you to ride? Yep. Look at that. Yep. A cycle surgery uh, bike hire today has got 90 people out on bikes today. So so where are you guys from? We're all from Sydney. You're all from Sydney, so you're a big group from Sydney? Yep. And so you had to come over to Otago to do a rail trail? Yes, yeah. we wanted to. Yeah. We wanted to, yeah. yeah. There's nothing in New South Wales. They've set a very high standard here in Otago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, how, how have you found it so far? Fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 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 And yeah. also the beauty with, the, with using an existing or an old railway line is that it's um, the ability for anybody to ride. It's recreational cycling. It's yeah. Not, yeah. It, it's yeah. got probably yeah, the are, broadest width, width of people that you can get. You're not aiming at a specific group. It can be anyone. So all, all ages from young yeah. to yeah. elderly. Yeah. And what about electric bikes? Yeah. Electric bikes. Yes. Electric yeah. bike. And um, do you think it's brought much benefit to the area? Yes, definitely. Um, through like from January to April, kind of May-ish. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, lots of people come through. Yeah. Yeah, great. If I said you could have the train back um, tomorrow instead of the rail trail, what would you say to that? Um, wouldn't be benefit. Well, when I came here 22 years ago, it, the rail trail wasn't open. It didn't officially open until 2002. Uh -huh. And the population here was 25 and it's now 58. Right. So yeah. that alone has changed and the place has been spruced up a bit and that kind of thing. Yeah. And um, we've had a lot, some businesses open up in town that weren't here before. Right. Um, the, uh, restaurant down the road, the cafe. Yeah. Um, bed and breakfast, there's something like about four bed and breakfasts in this tiny town. So and so this is the local post office? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's actually owned by Heritage New Zealand. Yeah. And probably, oh I don't know, I don't know if we'd still be going. Yeah, if the trains are already gone, this is the next best, best thing to do, is to have the, uh, if the trains are still there, don't lose them. Yeah. But if you 
have lost them already, make it into a rail trail before anybody else gets there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well. Um, because it's well and truly worth it. And yeah. so popular with cyclists yeah. and so safe. If someone said you could have the train back tomorrow instead of the rail trail, what would you say? Well, in, on the rail trail here, we have 20,000 visitors who cycle, walk, ride their horses, that sort of stuff, through the local district. And the rail trails breathe new, new life into all the little places along the trail. Yep. It's given us an opportunity to uh, provide accommodation, food. There's uh, bike hire companies and all sorts of um, facilities along the trail that weren't here before. The train would drop passengers off, maybe pick up some goods and things like that and disappear and we might only see one a day. So in the height of the season, we have 20,000 visitors doing the rail trail. They may not do all of it, but they'll do some of it. Yep. And it's breathed new life into all these little communities. Yeah, wow. So it's made a real difference to the economic viability of the area. Absolutely. Was there any opposition to the building of the rail trail? When uh, we had a property uh, which fronted along the rail trail and when, so I was there when they lifted up the tracks and I thought, what a stupid idea. Nobody's going to do this. In a very short time, we went from, that'll never work, to what a great idea that was. Yeah. Who came up with that? <laughs> so it's worked brilliantly for us. There are no rat bags doing the rail trail. Mm -hmm. So these are all uh, people that want to enjoy the outdoors, do something healthy, do it in a group. Uh, so so you get, get large lot of groups. Yeah, we get lots of family groups and things like that. We're, this trail is uh, simple enough for grandparents to do it with their children and grandchildren. Wow. So interactions with families yeah. and, and just like going as a group of elderly people, being able to achieve something together as a group. Okay. Like, like, so how do you do yeah. that nowadays? It's not you know? just young people doing the trail? Like it's Mate, oh no, they thought March it would be April. backpackers, mm. but it's not. It's, it's um, not. people in their 50s and 60s really are the most. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they have disposable they income got to spend. spend. Yeah, they're yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but, but once again, they're doing the trail because it's a team bonding thing. So, so like they're all the same age, they're all getting away together, haven't hooked up for ages. Like the amount of Aussies we get over here doing it at this yeah. time of year, phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. And with their children, you know, just families doing it as well. Yeah. It's just like a sense of achievement. Mm. Mm. And it is, it's like people that can't do the Milford Trek or don't want to do the Milford Trek and walk for six or eight days even without a backpack, yeah. they'll bike, mm. especially now that you can get electric bikes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the electric bike thing makes a big difference too. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We, all, we all miss the puffing millies going through, the steam engines. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So could you tell me if, how the trail's been for the local area? Marvellous. Has it? Yeah. Yeah. In what way? Many ways. Many ways? Yeah. The environment. Yeah. Right. Money spent. What about if I said you could have the trains back instead of the rail trail? What would you say? Well, not really. Yeah. No. You, you'd prefer the rail trail? Yeah. 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 So what, what do the local like landholders think about it generally before it started? Oh, they would have hated it, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and they would have poo-pooed it, yeah. but like nowadays, they just, they can't believe what's happened. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, wow. Well. There are a farming family between here and Renfairly, and he always says, what's his name that um, owns the lodge and cottages? Uh, Duncan, Graham Duncan, and he says, oh, I poo-pooed it, I couldn't, and he says, I couldn't believe that anybody would want to bike through this hot and dry place. Yeah. And he said it's he says we actually make more money out of this accommodation venture than we do out of our farm now. Out of the farm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it provides extra business for the small towns to stay alive. Yeah. yeah. So if I said um, I could get the train back, bring the train back tomorrow instead of the rail trail, what would you say? Rail trail all day long. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.